This is Hair Tutorials with My Hairstyle Excel. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel. I hope you will like what you see. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create bow braid tie up with fistel accented pull to braid. Before braiding, take some hair and put them away to wait. These are for the bows. Next, I create the base braid. So take a section of hair and separate it in three sections. Start the braid, normal dots braid by bringing hair alternately under the middle and adding hair from the right side of the braid. Left under, right under, add hair. Left under, right under, add hair. Left under, right under, add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern until the braid reaches on the back of the head. Continue the braiding few stitches more after the last adding. Create a similar braid also on the other side of the head. Next, I create the bows on the base braid. Push the hair through, through the braid. Take the section of hair and pull it through the tool. Create a big loop, which will be both strands of the bow. Then pull the hair section through the braid. And here's the bow. The end of the hair will be hided behind the next bow or if it's long enough, you can add it to the next hair section. Pick up the next hair section. Take the hair tool and push it through the braid. Then create a big loop of the hair and pull it through the braid. Stop pulling on the halfway. And there's another bow. Pick up another hair strand. Push your hair tool through the braid. Create a big loop of the hair strand. Pull the hair halfway through the braid. And the third bro is ready. Separate another hair strand. Pull the hair through through the braid. Create a big loop of the hair strand and pull it through halfway. Keep on repeating this same pattern until you have as many bows as you like.
and repeat the same on the other side as well. Next, I create the French twist. Take some hair from the both sides of the tie back and secure them together with an elastic. Flip the end of the hair through the loop like this and do it again. Next, I pancake the edges of the twist to create some more volume. Just pinch the small piece of hair and pull it out of the stitch. Then I create another twist like this. Take some hair from the both sides, tie them together with an elastic, and flip the end of the hair through the loop, then just pancake the edges. Then I create a fistel accent. Take some hair from the side. Share the hair piece in two, and then start to create a fistel braid. Take small piece of hair from the side, bring it over and add to the other side. Take the small piece from the left, bring it over and add to the right. Take the strand from right and add it to the left. Left side, add to the right. Right side, add to the left. Left side, add it to the right. And from the right side, add it to the left. Bring the small hair strand every time over the side where it's taken. Keep on repeating this pattern until the braid reaches on the back of the head. To create some more volume, you can always pancake your braid. Now there is one fistel braid on the both sides of the tie back. Next, I create the first stitch of the pulled or braid. Take hair from the both sides. Bring them over the last stitch, tie together with an elastic, pancake the edges a little bit, then take the fistel braid and bring it to the top of the first stitch of the pulled loop braid. Flip the end of the fistel braid to the same elastic like a stitch of the pulled loop braid. Repeat on the other side. Then just shape the stitch as you like. Next, I repeat the same steps I did before. So start by fistel braid. Separate the hair in two and start to bring small hair sections over to the another side. Continue again like this until the braid reaches on the top of the previous stitch. If you pancake it the first fistel braids, do it on this one too. Now I have again two fistel braids and I will create a second stitch of the pulled loop braid. Take the section of hair which you didn't use on the last time, bring it over and secure with an elastic. Pancake the edges of the stitch. 
Then take the fistel braids, bring it top of the stitch and slip through the same elastic like this. Repeat the same steps again. Take some hair from the side and start to create a fistel braid by bringing hair alternately over the middle one. When you've finished your fistel braids, create another stitch. Take the hair you didn't use on the last time, bring it over and secure it together with an elastic. Bring the fistel braids on top and slip through the same elastic you did on a pull through braid. And here's the final result of this look. And sorry about not getting a video clip of this style because I accidentally deleted them. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it.